Google Pathways with many models triple the size of GPT-3. How do you test a brand new model that's performing at such a high level? Google turned to Poland where they respect and value intelligence. The Polish national math exam called the Matura is run on the 5th of May every year. It's taken by about 300,000 students and the results determine whether or not they can go to college or university. As a fun side note, a custom associated with the exam is called the Studniowka, meaning 100 days. It's a ball attended by students 100 days before the exam begins and candidates participate in superstitious activities like jumping on one leg around a monument and wearing red underwear to the ball for luck. They then wear the same red underwear to the exam. But Google sought out the Polish national math exam because it's so new. It was taken in May 2022. There was no possibility of contamination of the data that this new model called Minerva had been trained on. Students are allowed to take rulers, compasses, and calculators into the exam. They're allowed to show their working and they come up with a pretty high national average for what is a very, very complex mathematics exam. In fact, the national average score for human students in Poland in the 2021 exam was 57%. I think you can guess that Google's new Pathways Minerva model scored a lot higher than that. It achieved an overall exam score of 65%. That's an increase of more than 14% in this specific area of math. It's outperforming humans, all without a calculator, pen, paper, ruler, compass, or even a biological brain. Palm features quite heavily in a lot of my literature. It's currently the largest dense large language model in the world at 540 billion parameters. It's triple the size of GPT-3 and it is focusing on different modalities, not just language via text, but also vision via images. You would have seen my video on Google Party, auditory for speech and music, and they're looking at more abstract modalities in the future. A couple of my favorite highlights from my new paper released August, 2022, the Google Palm model went crazy with Wikipedia. Consider that GPT-3 and even DeepMind Gopher only used up to 12 gigabytes of English Wikipedia. Well, Google Palm went all the way through the multilingual version of Wikipedia, drawing 130 gig down as part of its pre-training data. It's also one of the first models to lean heavily on social media comments. Generally, some of the big models use social media as an indicator of how popular an article is, but they would not draw in the comments because of low quality and high toxicity. Google Palm draws on 1.5 terabytes of social media conversations. That's 50% of its complete data set. And these are drawn from a range of different social media sources. There's also an entire code model, still 540 billion parameters, but focusing on some of the major languages available to us today. Some of those include Java, HTML, JavaScript, Python, C, PHP, C Sharp, and C++. There's a bit of go in there as well, of course, because we're talking about Google. Google has lofty goals for this entire Pathways architecture and the models that come out of it. Dr. Jeff Dean announced the architecture all the way back in October, 2021. Jeff is famous for his involvement in mega projects like Google Translate, MapReduce, TensorFlow. He's also a co-founder of Google Brain. I reckon he definitely fits somewhere on this chart of prodigies creating artificial intelligence for us. He gives a longer description of the goal of Pathways. He says, Pathways should be a single AI system that can generalize across thousands or millions of tasks to understand different types of data. Some of the myriad goals identified for Pathways models involve fields like health, engineering better medicines by infusing these models with knowledge of chemistry and physics, education, advancing educational systems by providing more individualized tutoring, complex world issues, addressing climate change, and engineering clean energy solutions. 
To achieve this level of performance, Jeff asserts that AI models should replicate the workings of the human brain as discrete but interconnected components. He says, we have many different parts of our brain that are specialized for different tasks, yet we only call upon the relevant pieces for a given situation. There are close to 100 billion neurons in your brain, but you rely on a small fraction of them to interpret this sentence. Google also commented whether the model is processing the word leopard, the sound of someone saying leopard, or a video of a leopard running, the same response is activated internally, the concept of a leopard. Their objective is that pathways could also handle more abstract forms of data, helping find useful patterns that have eluded human scientists in complex systems such as climate dynamics. This is just some brief highlights. My entire paper covers all of the major outputs of the Pathways architecture. Those are the Pathways system, Palm 540B, Palm Coda 540B, Party 20B, the text to image generator, and Minerva 540B based on mathematics. Have a look, it's 24 pages over 5,000 words and it brings together about a dozen primary sources and distills the most important information from each about what I consider to be the largest and most spectacular AI model available today, August 2022. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. Love artificial intelligence? Excited by the explosive progress of integrated AI? I am. Join my private mailing list, The Memo. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. Get priority access to my articles, videos, and behind the scenes tips as soon as they're released with a monthly or annual subscription. Yeah. Didn't you get that memo? Lifearchitect.ai slash memo. I have the memo.